In this brand new episode of The Thrive Show, we're going to be talking all about preserving your legacy and also preparing your will. This is going to be good and essential, so make sure you listen in. Let's get ready to go. Welcome to The Thrive Podcast. If you want to thrive in your life and business while keeping God first, you're in the right place. This is the show for leaders who want to leave a legacy of love, encouragement, and generosity. You want to be remembered for the way you positively impacted the lives of others and made a lasting difference. You want God to order your steps. Sometimes you just need a nudge in the right direction to take those steps. The Thrive Podcast will help you take the right steps, overcome obstacles, and equip you for the kind of success that matters to you. And now your host, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome into this brand new podcast episode of The Thrive Show. Yours truly here, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. I'm so glad that you are listening in and want to welcome all of you who are new listeners. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited, so blessed. We've had over 17,000 down, unique downloads of the podcast and have recently just been launched on Amazon podcast directory as well. So thank you. Thank you to all all of you from all around the world uh, who are listening in. And I pray that the show is encouraging to you. And I really hope I'll be able to meet you one of these days when we're able to do in-person conferences again and that whole sort of thing. I would just love to be a part of what you are doing as well. Um, Make sure that you go to Javana.com and sign up there. Uh, I send out weekly emails of encouragement, inspiration, along with a resource and a tool to help you grow your business and help you expand your life. So be sure that you sign up there so that we can continue the conversation. Also make sure that you subscribe to this show, subscribe so that you'll never have to miss a fresh podcast episode. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, I want to talk to you real quickly about uh, preserving your legacy and uh, writing your will. Now we are living in times where more people than ever are realizing the importance of having those last uh, documents in place. Now, I am not an attorney, none of that, nothing like that. I am just passing on to you what I have learned that has helped me in the process of preserving a legacy and also writing a will. And so there, there are some um, final documents that we should all have in place. They include things like a last will and testament, a durable power of attorney uh, for health care and an, an advanced health care directive, as well as things like um, a financial power of attorney. Now, all of these things are important documents because when we pass away, and, I, and notice I didn't say if, I said when, because it's inevitable. It's something that's going to happen to all of us. So unless Jesus comes back while we are yet alive, <laughs> but I'm telling you, we have to prepare for that and we have to do our due diligence. It amazes me how so many people, you know, they have all of these things in place in their life, but when it comes time to pass away, they don't, they did not take the time while they were living to create those important documents. It's an, it's enough to have your family grieving. Okay. And, but it's an entirely different thing for them to have to go behind you and to try to clean up a mess because you did not leave a will and you did not do the necessary things while you were living. So please make sure that you have these documents in place. Um, you can, my resource is Dave Ramsey along with mama bear legal forms. It does not have to be overwhelming. You can get it done in less than an hour. Um, you pay a small fee, but it helps to give you that peace of mind that you need in knowing that if anything were to ever happen to you, you already have it in writing what you want to be done. Okay. You already have it in writing where your resources are going to go to, because here's the truth of the matter. If you do not have those documents in place, guess what you'll go through? Guess what your family will go through? They will go through something called 
probate. And probate is when they take all of your assets, all of your belongings, all of that, and it goes through the system. It goes through the state and that can take years and it can take so much heartache as well and unnecessary expenses. So, so make sure that you leave a legacy of love for your family by having these last minute documents and not last minute, but these last final documents in place. Um, Again, uh, Dave Ramsey is a wonderful source. Again, I am not a lawyer, y'all. So please do not (laughs) make sure that you go to a reputable source, but make sure that you do your due diligence. So Dave Ramsey, Mama Bear Legal Forms, and also another great resource that I highly recommend that you get in touch with is Roger Whitney. Roger is a member of my mastermind, and he is also, um, I'm in a mastermind with Roger rather, and we... I mean, he, he does exceptional financial retirement planning, that whole sort of thing. And also he works with a company called Ever Plans, Ever Plans, helping you to have all your documents in place and helping you to make sure that the, your final wishes are honored, that whole sort of thing. Listen, I say this not for doom and gloom, but I say this because I have seen especially this year, I have seen so much grief of different ones passing away and it does not matter. Age, listen, age is just a number, you all. Listen, I mean, let, if we were to rewind for a moment, let's, let's think, let's think, okay, January, Kobe Bryant, helicopter crash. Um, just recently, Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther, you know, colon cancer. I think about some of my closest friends. They were in their early forties, gone too soon. A dear member of our church, Reggie Barlow, gone too soon. And so I just encourage you. And my husband deals with this kind of thing all the time, because when he does funerals, you know, he, I mean, he's right there in the midst of it where, you know, the family is grieving and there's a significant difference between a family who is grieving, who does not have the paperwork done, who did not have insurance, who did not have the final last documents in place. There's a significant, significant difference between that family and the family who did, right. Who does have that peace of mind in place. So, It doesn't have to take long. It's not a long process. Just make sure that you get it done. Get it notarized. Make it official, right? It's not just enough to draft it and put it in a binder somewhere. No, that stuff needs to be signed. It needs to be notarized. It needs to be recorded in order for it to be official and honored by courts later on down the line and banks and financial institutions and things like that. All right. So I sound very legalese today, but I hope this is helpful to you because I want you to realize that, you know, it's important that you do your due diligence. It's important that you have all of these documents in a place where you're the, the person, you know, maybe it's your executor. If you appoint an executor, and those of you who, do, who don't know what that is, that's someone who handles the business for you, you know, uh, who you appoint. Uh, it's important that people know that person, your family, your closest family member knows where all those documents are right? Because you don't want to leave them scrambling. It's enough just to plan a home going and to do all of that. But you want to have a place. I mean, know where that stuff is. Okay. So it's all about preserving legacy. It's all about doing your due diligence. And I just recently finished um, the legacy journey. It's a course that is a part of Financial Peace University uh, with Dave Ramsey. And um, in that course, he talks about all of this, but he also referenced a book called Letters from Dad. I can't think of the author right now, but it's called, I'll try to see if I can look it up, but it's called Letters from Dad. And This book is so impactful because what it does is it encourages you to write letters to your family who you uh, love letters of, you know, what, what is that 
ethical will that you want to leave behind. Meaning, what did you stand for? What did you believe in? What were the happiest moments of your life? What were some of the saddest moments of your life? What do you want to pass on to the next generation? You know, we have to think about this. And so writing that down, oh, it's so powerful. I did this exercise not too long ago and I went out and I got beautiful frames for all of the letters that I wanted to send to my parents, to my sister, to my loved ones. And I wrote them a letter and then I put it in this beautiful frame. And then along with the frame, I also added some memorable pictures. You know, everything is digital now, but there's just something special about having a physical picture in a real frame (laughs) <laughs> that you can look at. And so I put some, some framed pictures in there as well. The author is Greg Vaughn. Thank you. The author is Greg Vaughn. So I just looked that up. Um, but it's important that you write down how you want to be remembered, right? And not just how you want to be remembered, but the things that you want to leave in place when you do pass away. Because my friend, it's so important that we think about the next generation. It's important that we think about uh, how we want to be remembered. And so what this is called, it's called a legacy box, a legacy box. And it's amazing. And so when I talk about an ethical will, It's, you know, the personal lessons, tips, knowledge that you want to leave behind, whether it's information about your family history, the things that you loved about life or lessons that you want to pass on to the future, you know, Um, and and, and we can break it up into categories. And so personal history, you know, what are the basics of you, you know, Um, things like where were you born? What traits did you inherit from your parents? Uh, You know, what pets did you have throughout your life? If you're married, how did you meet your spouse? Um, Any family favorites about the proposal? If you got divorced, you know, explain why and how or what lessons the divorce taught you. Your favorite things, you know, what's your favorite book, your favorite actor, your favorite meal, your favorite athlete, restaurant, all that sort of thing. Your ethical will also includes things like your academic and professional life. Where did you go to school? Did you go to college? What was the best lesson you learned in school? What was the best teacher you ever had? Why did you choose your career or your profession? What's the best workplace advice that you can offer? If you had it to do over again, would you change anything? And then the other segment is about your experiences. What are you most proud of? What are you most grateful for? What was the happiest moment of your life? What was the biggest regret or the hardest decision you ever had to make? Who would you like to ask forgiveness from? Who would you like to give forgiveness to? The other segment is your religious and your political beliefs. You know, what are your most valued traditions? Why do you believe the way you do? Uh, Why do you give Uh, uh, you know, things like your thoughts on religion and faith, then your hopes for the future. What are the values that you want to pass on? What are the wishes for your spouse, your partner? Uh, uh, What's a mistake that you hope your loved ones can avoid? A mistake that you made that you want others to avoid? What's an experience that you hope that they get to have? And then when, when, you know, when they encounter hardship, what do you want to tell them to remember? So these are questions you want to think about. These are questions you want to write down in your ethical will. Now, an ethical will is different from the last will and testament. The last will and testament outlines a lot of the stuff that I talked about earlier, right? When we talk about, you know, the belongings and the distributions and, you know, all that sort of stuff. This is the stuff that is the core. This goes into, this stuff goes into your soul, right? (laughs) You know, it makes up who you are as a person. So realize my friend that legacy, what are you going to leave behind? When your name is mentioned, what will be remembered? What will be remembered? Let's not go so fast throughout life that we forget that we all have a legacy to leave and we have a legacy to lead as well. Wow. 
(laughs) I hope something was said here today that has encouraged you, inspired you, and also catapulted you to action as well. So don't forget about those resources that I mentioned, Roger Whitney, Mama Bear Legal Forms, and Dave Ramsey. My friend, thank you so very much for listening to today's show. I trust it has blessed you. Listen, remember where God guides, what does he do? God provides, and where God directs, God protects. We'll see you next time. It's your time. Are you a coach, entrepreneur, or leader? Are you someone who wants to keep God first in your business? Well then, it's your time to shine. Join the exclusive mastermind of world-class leaders inside Thrive, led by Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Get ready to clarify your purpose, amplify your strengths, and thrive financially from what you already know. Sign up today at Javana.com. That's J-E-V-O-N-N-A-H dot com.